What the hell? Box, box, box. Hey, you did list. Yes. I'm not there, so you should list. Why? You don't feel. I found you confess. <laughs> should I confess? Like, yes. I should be honest. Yes. So this is the one, and I'm here with my wife. In our today's topic, I'm going to talk, like I'm going to give you orientation, right? Orientation, and we're going to talk about blockchain technology and cryptocurrency. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes, 100. Let's start with the orientation. All right, so let's start with um, orientation, right? Yes. The reason why we're going to start with orientation is because most traders or most people coming into trading, they come with the intention like with their own like different mindset and different um, intention, right? So in today's class, I just want to remove whatever mindset you've come in with and with onto to trade theory, right? And take this one I'm going to give you. Trading is something that takes time, right? It's not something you just come and just be expecting to make money overnight, right? Get rich quick. So it's not. Because I hear see the term like you want to buy Porsche or Lamborghini. I will get. Remove that mindset, right? It takes time. So just make sure that you pay like attention to what I'm like about to start teaching. Are you hearing me? You understand? Mm-hmm. Smooth start. All right. I started trading since 2018 and I did not start seeing five naira until around like 2021, 2022, when I started seeing money, right? But even from that 2019, 2020, I was seeing like small, small change, but I won't call it money. Why are you not like ending some receiving now? Yeah, you have to be smart with your finances. In today's orientation, just remove the mindset and get rich quick. It's a journey and it will take out time. So let's go to our next topic. Hope you understand our resignation. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> it's good to take time, right? So are you saying that if, you know, I start making money, I should save everything? That's your own cup of tea. No, like, hmm? what would you advise? Save some, use some and flex. Like how many percent? Save 50%. Why? Invest some, flex some. What's the next topic I told you about? Introduction to blockchain and cryptocurrency. I was my student. No problem. Blockchain technology and what? Cryptocurrency. And crypto. So now we'll start with the definition of blockchain. Right? Yes. And um, cryptocurrency. What is cryptocurrency on its own? Right? So now blockchain, right? Is a decentralized ledger that store data, right? Is it what? Decentralized ledger that stores data. Data. I use data because blockchain, the technology is broad, but found to restrict it to finance. Finance, I'll say, is a decentralized ledger that store transaction in forms of what? Block, right? Le- forms of block? Block, yeah. It's like multiple computers, meaning each transaction passed through multiple computers for for those computers to validate the transaction. Now, let me explain what blockchain technology is or what it does as I will explain to a five-year-old child, right? Because that's who you are to me. You're my child. Have you? Yes. Now, let me me give you this scenario, right? What am I doing? I'm drawing this. They won't know anything. Box, box, box. No, this is blockchain. Now, I said it's a decentralized ledger, right? That's validation transaction in forms of what? Mm-hmm. Look. Now, let's say, for example, I sent you money, right? Now, the blockchain technology, the money have to pass through all these multiple blocks, infinite, multi, oh, in, infinite what? Blocks. This block now is linked, it's chain. Block what? Chain. Mm-hmm. Block, block, block. That are linked in form of what? Chain. And it's infinity. It's like the internet. It doesn't have I, an I, end. Good and fine. Thank you so much. Now, if I send you money, mm-hmm. if I send you money, now multiple computers they have to validate that transaction, you know, for you to what? Receive it. In that way now, if I have money, that is what secure by the blockchain technology, right? If someone wants to hack my money, 
how like how would the person have the money explain they won't be able to they won't be able to why because it's linked like it's locked it's linked the block is linked right blockchain is linked and it has infinite number of what blocks Box. and for someone to hack that one transaction the person have to hack all the words block no. at the same right. time is it possible why because the, the blocks are what if like mm-hmm. they are infinite they're, 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 like there's no specific number of what blocks so the person have to hack each block at the same time now there are people now that can be able to hack one block but if they hack one block another block is going to come back and replace the one they hack immediately so in that way it's impossible to hack a, a transaction to someone's wallet that is being protected by what blockchain, blockchain. technology that's blockchain now what's the next topic cryptocurrency good cryptocurrency or digital currency yes i call it cryptocurrency or digital currency now on the word cryptocurrency digital currency a layman will understand digital more so what, what do you understand by digital currency? Like online money. Online money. Money that's... That's smart. <laughs> and no, online money. Now, what is cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency is a form of digital or virtual asset. Digital what? Currency or virtual asset that is what decentralized and is being secured by a, like technology called what? Cryptography. Okay. Right? Yeah. Cryptography that uses what? the blockchain technology. Remember, I told you when, we, when I was explaining blockchain technology, right? I told you that when you make transaction, right? It will pass through number of blocks to validate that transaction. So now, cryptocurrency is what form of digital currency that is secured by the what? Blockchain technology. So that's the future of what? Finance. Which one do you think is more safer? Keeping the money in the bank or keeping the money on the blockchain? Blockchain. And uh, say the truth. Blockchain. Say the truth. Now, if I want to give you money, you, should I send it to your OP bank or should I send it to your wallet address? Or should I confess that yes. I should be honest? Yes. <laughs> hey, y'all, come look at this. My OP. <laughs> My OP. This is your OP. Sorry. <laughs> but you can hack your OP you now. It's about how your SIM card now they can oh, hack your OP. But it's impossible to hack okay. your crypto unless if someone have your trade seat freeze. But I think that's it for the introduction on blockchain technology and crypto Hello. currency. Is there any question? Mm. Hmm? Mm. No, any question? Hold on. Remember, at the end of this class, I'm going to ask you a question. I want you to like explain more. Explain what? More. A blockchain or crypto? The uh, why you like use the cryptocurrency? No, come to this. Okay. Uh, but let me explain, right? Where you use it? Like how you use it, sorry. Right. And help. We have uh, two types of methods to buy or to sell or to keep your crypto, right? Or should I say wallets? We have decentralized wallets, decentralized, and what? We have centralized wallets. Decentralized and centralized wallets. Good or fine. Now, centralized wallet. Let's start with decentralized wallets here. Decentralized wallet is a kind of wallet that gives you total control of your what? Of your assets. Why centralized wallets? Mm, your asset is there, but it's being controlled by a company. Let me give you an example of decentralized wallets. Your attention. Now, if you are storing your money, like any any um, any app that require you to have twelve seed freeze, right? Then that's an example of decentralized wallet, like MetaMax, Trust Wallet, the blockchain app itself, Phantom Wallet. And the rest, there are thousands of apps out there you can use to store your words, crypto, decentralized world. That's for decentralized wallets. Yeah, you can use to store your crypto. 
that way even if for example you are storing your money in tr- on trust wallets for example if you are storing your money on trust wallets on a decentralized wallet you see, you see i told you we have trust wallets we have metamax and we have phantom wallet yeah f- phantom wallets right wait metamax yes oh. metamax trust wallet phantom they are all examples of decentralized wallets if you are keeping your money on those kind of wallets the money you have total control over the money because your money is not on that app that app gives you access to your money your money is on the block it's on the blockchain it's not on the app let me explain all this app does not require you to log in they don't ask you for email address or password these apps they don't ask you for email address or password all they ask you for is 12 seed freeze they are words yeah 12 random words once you want to create an account, they can they will just generate 12 random words and give you. And that's your login. Now, if Trust Wallet give you those 12 random words and you use it to, you know, have your Trust Wallet account and you have money, like plenty Bitcoin, Ethereum, and USDT, you are a billionaire and you're keeping your money on Trust Wallet. Then it's more you wake up and Trust Wallet is no more on App Store or Google Play Store. What happened? Let's say one day you wake up and your Trust Wallet just disappeared from your phone. And uh, like you can't access it again in your world, just wallet has disappeared. What happened to your money? It's gone. It's not gone. How? Oh. Yes, because that's because it's what decentralized. Your money was never on the app. Your money is on the block. That's where seed freeze. That's your money. The app only gives you access to what? Your what? Your money. Like to see it. Yes, to see it and to send it out or send more in right that's what the app does if one day you wake up and trust wallet is no more working do you know what you do download metamax yes now download metamax and that's where situations you have put it on metamax the money is just going to pop up we see your mom are you sure yes now mm. we'll try it we'll do practical maybe later three hours later all right guys so we are done with today's class i'm going to ask her like five fire questions for her to answer <laughs> so that we should do that, I don't miss now, thank you. So I'm going to like ask you five questions. Am I going to give you money? Yes, what? To? Yes. Yes. Yeah, no. How much? Any yeah, amount. Hundred dollar. All right, let's do this real quick. Every like question, like um, like you have um, ten seconds to answer. All right, how many types of um, wallets do we have? Two. List them. Um, centralized, decentralized wallet. Centralized, decentralized. Centralized wallet and decentralized wallet. That's all, thank you. Even four questions. You know what to open the dollar now. Okay, um, 20. Uh, taking 20. You're taking what? 20 out of the 100. No, like you have to answer all the five questions. If I lose one? If you lose one, the money is gone now. Means you are not assimilating what I'm teaching you. Nobody's perfect. Let's continue. The second question is, what is blockchain technology? It's um, a decentralized um, digital ledger that uses... I hate the fact of this now. That uses um time is over. Ten seconds on good. <laughs> Anyways, I will still give you the money. You understand? I, I, I forgive you for this one. Let's continue. Um, what is cryptocurrency? Is a digital currency that uses um cryptography and it runs on blockchain. Mm. Yeah, I'll just say uh, this is your definition I'll just give you like 7 out of 10 is a win let's go how many person now we've done 2 left 2 2 left right list like 5 types of crypto um bitcoin ethereum BNB USDT XRP Solana this I mean, that's you should list. Five. You don't feel. I panic your best. <laughs> you don't feel. It's on me, yo. You failed. 
<laughs> you should, please, I try. You're simple, supposed to even simple, add extra like $10. Question, simple question. You know, one thing, the first thing you do in school, you understand when writing an exam, is to understand the question. The moment you don't understand the question, you feel that that particular exam. That's not true. It used to be some teacher will give you bonus. Sir, but like this. Yes. I said, six, uh, just the five, just six. You don't feel... Okay, let's do, let's assume I did comma, XRP comma, so then now. Let's go to the next question. Mm. How many questions remain? One. Hmm? Which one? What should I ever ask yourself? Uh, what should I ever... I want to ask you something simple because I want to just give you the $100. I feel like you give you... So I think it should be worth it because even if I don't ask you question, you want one way or the other to play me from man. <laughs> so let me ask you one. Which should I ever ask you? Hmm? Five examples of decentralized wallets. Give me with um trust wallet, Anthem, Meta, Metamax, blockchain. You you only give me four. So you don't have one to add. Cocoin no, is centralized. Yes. So you've listed how many? Four. You know one. You said I gave you four. I'll ask you to list five. Yes. Life is not fair. I don't want to give you the money that way. You don't pay. That's all. No. <laughs> you are done. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, just stay and cry to you. Give no, me. Don't mind, you know, a reaction. Better, better leads are coming. You know, are you? So that's it for today. We'll meet you guys in another episode. Bye-bye. Take No. Hey, you don't get one fifty dollars I know I talk to myself, but you need one. Let's go. Bye-bye.